From Los Angeles to a worldwide audience, this is Boaz Power TV, where we take your life to the next level. Now, internationally known speaker and author, here's Boaz. Hi, welcome to The Power Show. You are part of The Power Nation, and I'm so glad you're here, because here we help you to improve your attitude, your relationships, your finances, and your career as we take your life to the next level. This is episode number 230, Boaz Power TV, and it's called Air on the Side of Caution. In the book, Think and Grow Rich, one of the books I promote in my seminars all over the world by Napoleon Hill, the author speaks out about our sixth sense. It's something we all have. He says that it is our inner voice, our intuition, if you will. He suggests strongly that we should listen closely to that voice. Well, there are many moments in life when we have choices and a decision has to be made. If we stop and, and meditate for a few minutes, uh, we'll usually have an inner feeling that will tell us which way to go. It's important to pay attention and follow that inner feeling. My mother taught me that it is better to err and to listen to the inner voice. It's better to err on the side of caution, she said. I haven't always listened to that inner voice and I've made some decisions in my life that were not the best. Well, as I look back, I probably disregarded my inner voice and the result was a wrong decision. Mother also taught me that when it comes to matters of health, as I said, if in doubt, it's better to err on the side of caution. So let me share with you two incidents in my life that illustrate this point. When I was 29, my heart started racing one cold January day. I was living in Oklahoma at the time. An hour later, it was racing as if it was coming out of my chest. There was numbness in my left arm and pains in my heart. Now, you don't have to be a doctor to know this is not a good combination. So I called a doctor and his analysis was as follows. Oh, it's probably nothing. At the time, I was 29. So he said, you're 29, not overweight. Don't smoke, don't drink, don't do drugs used to be an athlete in high school, there's no indication of a heart problem. But if you're concerned, you might go down to the hospital and just have it checked out. Well, then there's another incident which took place uh, a couple of years ago uh, on a cruise ship heading from Los Angeles to Acapulco. I woke up in my cabin in the middle of the night with a severe pain in my chest and difficulty breathing. I sat up in bed and couldn't find a comfortable position that wasn't painful. I had never felt that way before. Now, in both of these incidents, a decision had to be made. Do I go to the hospital to check out the fast heartbeat or listen to the doctor's theory that it's probably nothing? On board the ship, do I see if the chest pains will go away or do I call the ship's doctor? As I said, my mother taught me, when it comes to health matters, it's better to err on the side of caution. In the case of the incident on the ship, I had a feeling that I should call the ship's doctor. I was taken quickly to the onboard clinic and EKG proved that there was nothing wrong with my heart. It was just a case of severe heartburn. Now, in the case of the fast heartbeat many years ago, I had a feeling that I should go to the hospital right away. A relative took me to a nearby hospital where as I walked into the emergency room, I started feeling faint. I screamed at the nurse, nurse, my heart, now! She put on a stethoscope, came over, ran, put the stethoscope on my chest, ran back to her station and flipped all the alarms. Code blue, code blue. I was going into cardiac arrest, heartbeat at 400 beats a minute. I was thrown on a table, surrounded by a dozen doctors and nurses as the crash cart arrived, just like on ER on television. The charge from the electric paddles shocked my heart back to a normal beat and a rare heart condition was discovered. Some 15 years later, I had open heart surgery in San Diego to cure the condition. Now, the shipboard decision showed there was nothing seriously wrong. The decision concerning the fast heartbeat saved my life. With the idea that you may save someone else's life, I'd like to share something that came in on an email one day to me. It concerns the recognition of someone having a stroke. Sometimes the symptoms of a stroke are difficult to identify. Unfortunately, the lack of knowledge or awareness could spell disaster. An individual experiencing a stroke could suffer severe brain damage if people around the victim fail to recognize the symptoms. 
A doctor friend of mine told me the other day that if a victim of a stroke can get medical attention quickly, the detrimental effect of the stroke can actually be averted. So if someone around you seems to be acting strangely, perhaps stumbling or falling without reason, you can recognize a stroke by asking the person, the victim, three simple questions that deals with the letter, letters S-T-R. S-T-R. Number one, S. Ask the individual to smile. Someone having a stroke will have a difficult time with that. T. Ask the person to talk and speak a simple sentence coherently. Just a simple sentence. Tell me what day of the week it is in a simple sentence. That's T. R. Ask the individual to raise both arms. To raise both arms. Now, so ask them to smile, to say a coherent sentence, and raise both arms. If they're having difficulties with any of that, you may want to get some help. Now, note, another sign of a stroke is this. Ask the person to stick out their tongue. Stick out their tongue. If the tongue is crooked, if it goes to one side or the other, that is also an indication of a stroke. If he or she has trouble with any one of these tasks, get on the phone, call 911 immediately. Describe the system, the symptoms to the dispatcher. As my mother said, when it comes to health matters, it's better to err on the side of caution. Doing that one time in Oklahoma saved my life. So here's a caution affirmation. You may want to write it down if you believe this could be of help to you. When it comes to health matters, I err on the side of caution. When it comes to health matters, I err on the side of caution. Thank you for joining me. If you like these messages, find them beneficial, please forward this to somebody you care about. I suggest to go to my website, boaspower.com, and they can also subscribe to the free weekly broadcast of Boaz Power TV. You are special. You are unique. You are destined for greatness, and I believe you are now listening to your inner voice. I see it in you. You are a champion. Have a powerful day. This has been Boaz Power TV. To comment, see other episodes, or to subscribe to this free broadcast, go to our blog at boazpower.com. That's boazpower.com. We're here to take your life to the next level.